Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the master of hoppets today looking at another beer that uh, I was lucky to get because of good friends picking up beer for me during Himmeril Beer Week. So this is from Grimm Artisan Ales over in the States, over in New York and I think this is, or I don't think, I know this is going to be my first hoppy release from Grimm. I have reviewed their Barrel-aged Imperial Stout. The name of it escapes me right now. It's a long time ago. I reviewed a couple of their beers because they showed up in Denmark uh, because of Dregeru, you know, that's owned by Yebe, who has Evil Twin. Uh, or at least he's one of the owners. So the, it's some of their stuff has been over here, just not the hoppy stuff. So it will, will be fun. Darwin from Darwin's Beer Reviews really enjoys Grimm's hoppy beers. So really looking forward to trying their stuff because he's been praising them. So this, guys, is the Grimm Double Dry Hopped Force Field on 6.4%. That was the only Grimm beer at the New York can takeover event thing over at Himmeril. And this is not the freshest can. It's a little more like, it's like five weeks old. It's a little bit older than the other ones. But it's, it says on the side, keep cold, drink now, roll can to suspend the hop haze. Because this is made with cryo hops and apparently, I don't know if it's Grimm specifically or whatever, but they said that, it, that there's a tendency for some of their IPAs that the haziness subsides and sits in the bottom of the can like the particles hot particles or whatever I don't know I mean I don't really care too much the haze looks cool and it's nice but as long as the beer tastes good that's what matters most to me so this is hopped with cryo hops and the hops are Osaka and Columbus so interesting I wonder if they use Columbus for bittering on what they do because Columbus is usually to me like quite earthy and piney and you know resiny but will be fun to try so we got the double dry hopped force field board and yeah, it looks very nice in the glass, like a lightly, like more like a chill haze to it, but a lightly hazy golden yellow color. Almost looks like a pilsner in the glass, actually. Looks really nice. And it's got a, like a nice, oh, uh, yeah, a finger almost of white head. Let's check out the aroma on Double Dry Hop Force Field. Oh, this smells pretty nice. Candied hop notes. Like, it's got this, um, it's, it's uh, Darwin's, I think he says, like, um, Starburst candy sometimes with candied notes, but to me it's like Skittles, <laughs> like the citrusy Skittles, and I'm getting lots of citrus rind, like rindy, pithy citrus fruit, oranges. It's got a little bit of a tropical note going on too, which like a sweet mango, which I think is from the Asaka. It smells really nice actually, but that candied hop note smells really nice. Maybe even a subtle hint of generic berry. Um, I can't remember the berry name. I have a jam that's made with it in the fridge right now. It's, uh, in Danish we call it pineapple cherries, but it's called something completely different in English. It's like this little yellow cherry looking thing and it's got like a weird leafy shell on the outside. It's got that kind of aroma. I will call it pineapple cherry in this video because I can't remember the real name, but I will put it <laughs> in an annotation. But I'm picking up something that reminds me of that. Mmm, smells really nice. It's good. Thanks guys, cheers. Oh, Columbus is shining through too as well. It's kind of like a, I don't know, if it, it's a little bit like an old school vibe too because of the Columbus, like definitely piney, pithy, grapefruity flavors as well. But that candy hop note is there for sure. Great medium chewy mouthfeel. Yeah, a little bit of sweet malt, sweet breadiness, like a light bready character to it. Nice bitterness, not crazy, but a nice, Bitterness lets you know it's there, more like more classic IPAs, which is really nice. It's kind of like hybrid type IPA territory for me because it's not super juicy. And it's got that candied hop flavor. It's reminding me of like kind of like Skittles or something like that. Like it's the citrus flavored Skittles, like orange or, or lemon Skittles. And that pineapple cherry or whatever it's called, the little berry I talked about, it's in there too. But it's more citrus fruit flavors and grapefruit and whatnot. That candied note, a little bit of a, almost like a sweet honey flavor on the back end and a medium kind of chewy mouthfeel. No, this is really nice, really damn sessionable and drinkable stuff. It's not just blowing my socks off as much as some of the other uh, beers from New York that I tried um, recently, but it's still a really nice IPA. So rating wise for the Grim Double Dry Hopped Force Field IPA featuring Asaka and Columbus Cryo Hops. I'll give it a 93. It's a really nice drinkable beer. It's even got like a slight mentholy, minty 
green hop flavor that's kind of like spearminty almost or something pretty nice stuff so yeah guys and 93 for the grim double dry hop force field i'd love to hear some thoughts on you guys uh favorite grim beer i've heard some of them are like really damn good but we don't get their hoppy stuff here and once we get stuff from them it's it's, it's like it's rare occasions i can still get psychokinesis right now they're hoppy sour ale but it's like over a year old so but it's like from last year i think 2016 early 16 or something like that but let me know guys and uh, as always remember to comment subscribe check out the facebook page, and twitter and instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'm gonna say cheers and see you guys in another video review